Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Scraps. Thanks for joining me today for a Country Craft Creations Design Team project. And I'll be using their exclusive collection called Little Monsters. This is a very vintage Halloween themed collection and I was super excited to finally craft with it. So let me show you what I've created. So here is what I have for you today. This is a Crescent Moon mini album. It is seven and eight inches tall by about five and a half inches wide. On the front, we have the cobweb paper in the background, and then I did this kind of ornate overlay in glitter cardstock. And this was cut out using uh, my Cricut and Cricut Design Space. And I will have a link for my Cricut files for those that have access. And keep in mind that you have to have a certain level of Cricut Design Space access to get certain files free. And for those that don't have access to a cutting machine, I've thought of you as well. And I created a Crescent Moon template. So you will have the uh, crescent moon, the owl, and then the base page and decorative page design so that you too can recreate this project. All information that I am sharing with you today will be linked down in the description box. So in addition to the overlay, I added a Tim Holtz ephemera piece here along with the Happy Halloween ephemera cut apart from the paper collection. And then I added three wooden bats and what I've done with them is inked a little bit around the edges in black soot ink. And then I used a holographic embossing powder to emboss them. And they are just so glittery. I hope you'll be able to see them. I mean, they're just shining over here. I don't see it coming through on the camera very well. But it's super glittery. And then I cut out a shadow of an owl on mirror card and then I backed it with black artisan cardstock just to make it really sturdy and I just set it there on the moon and I absolutely love how this turned out. On the back side here I kind of repeated the design a little bit. We have the orange plaid in the background and then I did the ornate overlay in this gray shimmer paper. I added on two glitter foam bat stickers, and then I put in one of the ephemera pieces, and it says, thank you for dropping by. <laughs> I thought that was a hoot to put back there. The mini album has a tabbed binding, and it's really only held by a half an inch tab. So it is a delicate binding, but I really just love how this turned out. I love that this has a two-tone look on the front of it. It makes it very eerie, but when you open this up, it is full of color. So the mini album as a whole has three pages, plus the inside of the front and back cover. So let's go inside and take a look. So here is our first layout on the first crescent moon. I had these ghosts in my stash from another paper collection and I had to use these. So this is on a brad and it swings out. You could add a little photo here. You could add some secret journaling underneath there. I just thought that was super fun to have this tissue paper ghost there. And up at the top, we have some sentiments that says, you're a scream and boo. And those sentiments come from the freebie that I will have for you today. And here is the page. This is full of Halloween sentiment and phrases. We have things such as home is where you hang your broom, here for the candy, you're a scream as we just used, I need candy to focus, fabulous, Bugs and kisses, jeeper creepers, you say which like it's a bad thing. A muck, a muck, a muck. Scaredy cat, you're a wizard. For the love of pumpkins, mischief manage. 
Who Lit Your Flame, <laughs> and Home Sweet Haunted Home. Those are just a few of the fun sentiments that you'll find on this freebie. And I will have the link for this down below, and it will go to my Ko-Fi page where I'm listing all of my freebies for you to get in one place. I printed these out on white cardstock and then I inked around them with black soot. And I actually used this on my Cricut Design Space as well and cut it out from there. I did a print and cut, but I set this up easy enough so that you could cut each of the sentiments out individually if you don't have a cutting machine. Okay, so let's go further on this page. We have a cute little bat down here little glitter bat and there is a secret slot here and it houses this cute little ephemera piece that says something wicked this way comes and you can just slide that right in there i love a little secret spot <laughs> on our next page we have gone haunting will return at midnight and I turned this into a little booklet. So you can add a photo here. You can even do some journaling. And I added this sequin cobweb, it's iridescent. And you can even tuck items underneath that. And behind there is a little tag. How cute is this little tag? But like I said, you can tuck right underneath there. And just added a little jute twine on that little tag. Here is our next set of pages. I took some solid cardstock and I ran it through an embossing folder. And I just love how this turned out because it really mirrors the green vines over here and the curling and everything. Just absolutely love that. Must bring it up closer. <laughs> it's so cool. But we do have a belly band going across this page. And underneath that, we have some of the paper and I made it into a little accordion fold so that you could add some memorabilia, some photos in there, whatever you like. And that's the back side. So here is that page without it on there. Then I added two little pumpkins down below here. One has a glitter face and one has a silver foiling face. On this side, I created a little pocket at the bottom part of the crescent moon. We have some ribbon here that says eek. And in the pocket, we have a little tag here and I've included a little vintage ticket. This is a real vintage ticket. And I even put on one of the little images from the eight by eight paper pad on the front of it. It has ephemera at the bottom strip. So I cut out one, I put a little hole in it and added it here to a Tim Holtz paper clip, the little tiny ones. I just love it, it's so cute. I used the eight by eight collection to create this entire project. And then at the top here, I have three glitter enamel dots. On our next crescent moon, I added a little tuck spot here with one of the ephemera pieces from the paper collection. I added another sentiment that says Hocus Pocus, which I've inked up a little bit. And then I created these two little photo mats, which I inked and stamped on. And what's neat about these is you can remove this image and you would be able to add your own photo there. I used Scotch re-stickable glue so that you could remove it and put your own photo down. I love this. These are super cute. And they just tuck right underneath there. And then I added this cute little cat down here. It's a chipboard piece that I had in my stash. And on this page, it actually has a, another page underneath it. So I do have it closed with a Velcro dot here at the bottom. But I left these blank so that you could add memorabilia, you could add photos, some journaling, whatever you like on those two pages. On this page, we have a happy haunting here in a glitter cardstock. 
and I fussy cut out one of the witches and added it to this envelope that I created from a die that I had in my stash. And then in the envelope, I added this little piece. Ew. <laughs> and on our next page, we have another pocket here at the bottom of this crescent moon. I added some ribbon here. And then in that pocket, I put two more little photo mats. Now, if you wanted to keep the image here on the front, you could add your photo to the back. These are two by three. And then I added another little glitter foam bat here at the top. This is a super fun page to close out the mini album. We have here for the candy, I added this adorable little gummy bear right there. And then two more pieces of candy and then some little sprinkle candies here at the top. These candies actually came from the Dollar Tree, so look there for them. And then I made this to be a little pull out tuck spot. So when you open it up, we have a little belly band at the top and I made this little tag with a die from my stash. I did do some inking on the inside of this flip down so that it would be a little grungy and go with the vintage feel. So you could add a photo here and here or even do some journaling. And then these just tuck right into each other. And I used the candy border strip here at the top. And behind that, we have a little tuck spot and I put in this cute little ephemera piece. I put some black artisan cardstock on the back, and you could certainly write on this with a white gel pen. You could even add a very small photo. You can make smaller photos. They don't have to be large. But I just love how that turned out. And then I already have shown you what the backside looked like. That's my design team project for today. I really love how this turned out. I hope you liked it as well. And I must say that even though this does have a fragile spine, I still just love it. It's super fun and unique, and it just brings me joy. <laughs> I hope it brings you joy as well, and I hope you'll give it a try. I do have a tutorial following this portion of the video. Don't forget to pick up your free template for those that don't have access to Cricut Design Space. And don't forget to pick up your freebie for Halloween, which is a sheet of words and phrases. These are going to be super fun in your crafting. But if you can't stay, thank you for joining me today. Please comment, let me know what you think, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And for those that can stay around for the tutorial, let's get started. So as I mentioned, I created a crescent moon template for this project. On the first page, it will have the crescent moon for the cover, as well as I included the owl image, just in case you wanted to use it. And on the second page is the crescent moon base page. And you'll know that one because it has this little tab on it. And then we have the crescent moon decorative page. And this is just slightly smaller than the base page. I also included the Cricut Design Space link in case at some point you get a Cricut and you're able to use that file for those that don't have access now. For those that do have Cricut Design Space access, the link will be provided in the description box and all the files will be there to create the cover, the base pages, the decorative pages, and even uh, the half pages that we're going to be creating. For those that don't have the Cricut access, all you'll be doing is taking your base page and cutting it in half then to create pockets. Um, and you'll see more about that as we go along in creating this project. And for those using the template, just keep in mind that once you cut these out and then start using this as a template on your other paper and cardstock, you may need to flip these so that you have one going in one direction and one going in the opposite direction. So just keep that in mind. 
And just as a reminder, this will be on my Ko-Fi page along with all of my other freebies and other items that I do have in my shop that I have a minimal amount associated with them. But this item is free. When you go to check out of Ko-Fi, you can just put zero in the dollar amount and you will be able to check out with or without your email. Um, I do like to just know how many people are using the templates to know whether or not um, you like this type of uh, service that I'm providing. So now that is all of the housekeeping. Let's get started on creating. For this project, you're going to need to cut out a front and back cover, and I used a lightweight chipboard. So two of those. You will need one of the crescent moons cut out on cardstock, but it will be the same size as your cover. You'll need to cut out four of the base pages and these all have the little tab on them. You will need one owl if you're going to do the owl as a decorative piece and 11 decorative pages and we'll get more into those as we move along because in fact I do cut out more than 11 uh, because I'm making pockets on some of my pages. Now I'm going to set these pieces aside and we're going to get started on the cover. Now one of the things that you can do is um, take a black magic marker and go along the edges to just blacken that up you can paint it, you can use your ink if you have a nice black ink to ink around the edges as well. Uh, we just don't want to see the cardstock color coming through once we put on our base pages. With one of our covers facing to the right, one to the left, we're going to start adding our pages. I'm going to start with one with a tab I'm going to add adhesive to the back side. I'm going to fold this down. I'm going to put this on top of our left cover, folding under the little tab. And I'm just going to line up the page with the chipboard, making sure that I have it in the right spot. Your pages should all align. Okay, and when that looks good, then press down on where we have the glue. Now, this is a very thin binding, um, but I think it will still work. I think it's going to be cute. And then when we open this up, we have our first page attached. Okay, the next thing you want to do is adhere the solid cardstock crescent moon to the inside of our front cover. Now I've already done that and unfortunately uh, my camera was not on when I just glued this down and that's basically all I did was take my cardstock crescent moon and glue that down, okay? So let's turn this page and we're gonna start adding the rest of the pages. Okay, now let's take the front cover and page and open those up. We're going to add on our next page, and I think this might be the easiest way. This way, we have everything lined up. So you would add your adhesive to the back of the tab. I'm just gonna talk through it first. Add our adhesive to the back of the tab. See where they're connecting? You line these up like this, and with the crescent moon being over here, we can use this kind of as a guide to get it placed and once we have it placed, we can kind of press on it and fold it over onto the second page or the first page. Okay, does that make sense? Now let's do it. Okay, so we have one page with the tab. This is our base page, adding adhesive to it, the back side of it. We're going to line up our crescent moon. Once that is in place, press down on the adhesive. 
And when we have that done, fold the moon over and again I would make sure these are lined up and then you can crease it. And if you even fold this you'll get the whole picture. Okay? That makes it really easy. <laughs> and then if we open this up just give that a little burnish. Okay, here's my next page. I'm adding adhesive to the tab only on the back side. I'm going to line up the crescent moons together. Give a little push. <laughs> If you wanted to wait till that dried a little bit, you could, but you push this over onto the other moon and then, then press that down once you have those aligned. Let's take a look. Yep, they are all aligned. Okay, so now we have one cover. We have three pages connected. We want to work with the back cover. And what we're going to do is go ahead and glue this one down to the cover. Then we will attach it, okay? Okay, now we're going to fold our little tab over so just fold that over very gently. It should follow the line of the crescent. Now let's add adhesive to the back side. We're going to take our stack that we've already created. We're going to Place this stack on top of the back part, line these up, and I'm kind of holding this up above the tab until I get these lined up the way I want them. And then when I got that, I'm going to drop it and press these together, okay? Super simple. All of your tabs should be fairly in alignment. Everything looks good. And I'm going to burnish. So here is our little Crescent Moon mini album all together. We have a total of three pages, which gives you six pages in total when considering front and back. And then when we add the front and back inside cover, we have eight pages. Okay, I'm going to start with decorating the back cover and then move forward to the front. For the back, the first thing I did was cut out this image with the plaid, and I'm going to add that as my base decorative paper. I always like to check the other side to make sure. Everything's lined up. Now you can decorate the back side any way that you want. However, I do have a, a decorative piece that's going to go over this. And this is it. So I'm just going to glue that on top. This is a Cricut Design Space image, and that's included in the file for those that have that capability. For those that are just using the template, I'm sorry, I do not have this image for you. Um, it was just too intricate, and I could not see you spending the time <laughs> to hand cut all of these little pieces out. So I figured you could decorate the back in your own style.
Now for this page, I used the candy paper and then what I did was take some orange cardstock that I had in my stash. I cut this down to nine and three fourths inches by about one and three fourths. I folded it at three and a fourth and then I folded it at slightly over three and a half. What that does is make a shorter top than the bottom. I had these little candy pieces in my stash from the Dollar Tree, quite frankly. I put the adhesive on the bottom of it and then that allows the top to be tucked down in there. So here's another candy piece that I added. Here is the border strip from the paper collection at the top. And then on the inside, I added this little image from the cut aparts. And then I cut a little tag using one of the dies in my stash to put that in there. And then the rest is open for photos or journaling. I did ink this up with some black soot um, ink. Now what I'm going to do is glue this down on three sides. Now this is where my freebie comes in handy. I printed these out on just regular cardstock paper. I cut them down and then I inked up the one I wanted to use using some vintage photo and it says here for the candy and I thought that would be super cute to put on here. <laughs> here for the candy, that's right. So this is how you use these little word phrases. Great little decorating pieces. So how cute is that? For the next page, I'm going to create a pocket. I have a top part of the crescent moon and then a bottom part. And what I did was I just flipped the paper. So I'm using one side and then I flipped it over to use the other side at the bottom. Now in Cricut Design Space, you can cut out just this image or just this image. For the template, you know, it's all together. It's one image for you, but you could easily cut that down. I'm going to tell you how wide this is. So this is about four and seven eighths inches wide from the top to the bottom. And this one, is two and a half inches wide from the top to the bottom. If that helps you, or maybe I should be going this direction, it is about six and one eighth inches. Really what I would do is just take a crescent moon, um, cut it out in this paper this way, and then cut it off at a certain point. Take it and cut out the crescent moon in this paper, cut out the bottom and then put these two pieces together. Okay, um, it's the best thing I can tell you. Okay, so you want to align your two pieces. They do overlap about three eighths of an inch. Add adhesive to the side here and to the side here and piece those together so that you can still put something down the center. And now we can glue this to our page. Now remember the top piece you can fully glue down, but the bottom piece you want to leave open. And then go ahead and put this down. It's always the tricky part. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. doesn't have to be perfect.
For this page, I cut out two crescent moons and you can see I did them in different directions so that I could put them on top of each other and create like a page that would flip. For the right hand side, I'm going to do a pocket again. So using the same measurements, you can create this. On this one, I added this eek ribbon that I had in my stash, which I think is cute considering that pumpkin. <laughs> so I'm just gonna line these up. And I'm going to use this cut apart, which I've backed with cardstock, using my scan and cut to cut that out. I'm gonna make like a little belly band here. And then I took this paper and I cut down a piece that is about six by four and a half. I then folded it to make it like an accordion and it is one and a half inches wide. So I love this. What I then did was round all the edges so that when you open it, you have these cute little peaks down here. So you could do writing in here. You could add little photos. I think that would be cute. I just wanted to have a little bit of something. Um, I don't really like these scary cats. <laughs> so I thought this would be the best way to use the paper, but not see a lot of that particular animal. <laughs> it's unlike me to like one of the kitties, but that one's kind of scary. <laughs> Now for this little booklet, I took a piece of the Black Artisan cardstock and some washi tape. I cut down this image from the cut aparts. I think that might have been a journaling card in the 8x8 collection. That's what I used for this entire project, if I didn't mention it. And this measures almost 2 by 2 and 5 eighths. I'm going to glue this down on three sides and then add a little tag. For the inside cover, I'm using the Vu paper, and I have these little ghosts in my stash from another collection, and I've never used them, and I thought this might be a good time to do that. And I thought, since he has a little hole in the head, <laughs> that sounds funny, that I could use a brad, and then that way it can swing out of the way, and you could actually put a little photo underneath him. So what I've done is just kind of lined the decorative paper up on the page and then I placed him down where he fits good. Added a little pencil mark and then I'm going to punch a hole, 
put my bread through here. I think I could just do this with my fingers here. Yeah. I think that's going to be cute. Of course, you will have already seen it at this point because of the reveal. <laughs> I'm going to put a little tape on that. So I'm going to swing my little ghost out of the way and I'm actually going to cut into the paper to make a little uh, secret um, journaling spot. I think that would be fun. I think I'm going to do it right here where that bat is. Can't really see with all the glare. Just going to go along where that stripe is so it won't be too noticeable. I'm not going to make it too big. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so that is how to create the Crescent Moon mini album. I'm going to complete any final touches off camera, but you would have already seen that in the reveal. So I hope you enjoyed creating this fun little design. I love it. And even though the pages are a little bit delicate, I still love it. It just really captures the spirit of this paper as well as the Halloween season. So I hope that you will give this a try. And if you do, please tag me. I would love to see your design. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.